Hello, Daniel Rokuski here from HowToMechatronics.com. In this video, I will show you how you can make an automatic color sorting machine using the Arduino board. All you need for this project is just one color sensor and two Hobius servo motor, which makes this project quite simple but yet very fun to build it. In the first place, using the SOLIDWORKS 3D modeling software, I made the design of the color sorter and here's its working principle. Initially, the colored skittles, which are held in the charger, drop into the platform attached on the top servo motor. Then the servo motor rotates and brings the skittle to the color sensor which detects its color. After that, the bottom servo motor rotates to the particular position and then the top servo motor rotates again till the skittle drop into the guide rail. You can find and download this 3D model as well as the drawings with all the dimensions needed for building this project on my official website. The material that I used for this project is a 3mm stick fiber board. I redraw the parts on the fiber board uh, according to the drawings and using a small hand saw cut all the parts to size. Once I got all the parts ready, I started assembling them. First I assembled the outer parts using a glue gun. Then using an all purpose glue I glued the two servo motors on their platforms and attached them to the assembly. After that, using a glue, I attach the guide rail on the bottom servo motor as well as the support and the platform needed for the top servo motor. Next, I inserted a switch and a power jack for powering the Arduino with a 5 volts adapter. On the third platform, I inserted the color sensor and then connected everything together according to the following circuit schematic. Now at this point first we need to program the Arduino and then finish the assembly. Here's the Arduino code. So we need to include the servo library, define the pins to which our color sensor will be connected, create the servo objects and declare some variables needed for the program. In the setup section we need to define the pins as outputs and inputs. Set the frequency scaling for the color sensor, define the servo pins and start the serial communication for printing the results of the color read on the serial monitor. In the loop section, our program starts with moving the top servo motor to the position of the skittle charger. Note that this value of 115 suits to my parts and my servo motor, so you should adjust this value as well as the following values for the servo motors according to your build. Next, using the for loop, we will rotate and bring the skittle to the position of the color sensor. We are using a for loop so that we can control the speed of the rotation by changing the delay time in the loop. Next, after half a second delay, using a custom made function read color, we will read the color of the skittle. Here is the code of the custom function. Using the four control pins and the frequency output pin of the color sensor, we will read the color of the skittle. The sensor reads uh, three different values from each skittle, red, green and blue, and according to these values we tell what the actual color is. For more details how the TCS3200 color sensor works, you can check my previous detailed tutorial about it. Here are the RGB values that I got from the sensor for each skittle. Note that these values can vary because the sensor isn't always accurate. Therefore, using these if statements, we will allow the sensor an error of around plus or minus 5 of the tested value for the particular color. So, for example, if we have a red skittle, the first if statement will be true and the variable color will get the value 1. So, that's what the read color custom function does and after that, using a switch case statement, we will rotate the bottom servo motor to the particular position. At the end, we further rotate the top servo motor until the skittle drops into the guide rail and again send it back to the initial position so that the process can be repeated. After uploading the code, I secure the Arduino board using a glue gun. 
Then, using a transparent plastic bottle, I made the charger and together with the top part, I glued it to the assembly and finished the project. That's all, thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects, visit my official website howtomechatronics.com.